Disasters. You can't predict them, but you can prepare for them. And when a disaster strikes, nothing will come in handy more than a well-stocked 72-hour kit. If packed right, this kit can meet all of your survival needs for the first three days following a disaster. Spend the next three minutes with me and you'll know how to assemble your own. The key to packing a successful 72-hour kit is ensuring it fits the grab-and-go description. It doesn't matter whether you choose a small rolling suitcase, a backpack, or even a plastic tub, as long as you understand that portability is the key factor. Each family member needs his own kit, so pack your young children's kits so they can carry them. So what should go in your 72-hour kit? Well, first, water, the Earth's most valuable resource. But water sources may be cut off or contaminated in an emergency, so fill your kit with clean, drinkable water. One gallon per person per day should be enough. Next, you'll want to pack a three-day supply of food. Include items you actually like to eat, and don't forget your can opener. Food items and water will have to be rotated on a regular basis to ensure that they can be safely consumed at the time of an emergency. Most regular foods need rotation every six months to a year. Some foods designed for emergency purposes will last up to five years. You'll want to pack a change of clothes, including socks and underwear, and a pair of sturdy shoes. Remember that first day kit you assembled? You'll want a smaller version of it to go into each 72-hour kit, in case you become separated. Don't forget to include medications and hygiene supplies. In an emergency, there's a good chance you'll spend some time outside, so bring the necessary survival gear a tarp, a pocket knife, a poncho, a flashlight with batteries, and a space blanket will certainly come in handy. Also, pack a water filtration bottle like this one and water purification tablets in case your supply runs low. A few day-to-day -day supplies will also prove useful in a disaster. Pack extra cell phone chargers, a small pad of paper, and a pen to leave notes as needed, and some emergency cash and small bills. And don't forget your car kit. Pack an extra 72-hour kit and leave it in your trunk at all times. With the amount of time we spend in our cars, it's quite likely a disaster could strike while you're on the road. And remember, food and water supplies kept in a vehicle will need to be rotated far more often than those kept in climate-controlled areas. There you have it. Everything you need to know to prepare for the first three days following a disaster. Are you ready?